The philosopher Jerry Bentham was quoted to say, it's the greatest good to the greatest number of people that's the measure of right and wrong. Indeed, it's also been said that it's the needs of the many that outweigh the needs of the few. The massive size of emergency responses to Australian bushfires often means there's a large resource and workforce movement across state borders to support emergency efforts in an effort to provide the greatest good to the greatest number of people. As in the situation we find small community hospitals suddenly have become the epicentre of healthcare services for this emergency. And they're providing services and operations in a far larger scale than they've ever routinely been expected to support. And now they're faced with a disaster at the doorstep, often a flood of well-meaning volunteers, clinical support from people who don't know where anything is, and an underlying potential that there might be a need to evacuate the hospital. And here's another thing too. The clinical staff who have been deployed from other areas of the country to assist in this emergency situation are often compensated differently by different jurisdictions for exactly the same work that they're doing there. This is Craig Hooper, and you are listening to Operational Health. I'm pleased to welcome back Assistant Professor Jamie Rance from the University of Canberra to talk about remuneration and workforce planning in a disaster and the roles and responsibilities of staff tasked to respond to out-of-hospital emergencies. 